But last week I made the headboard and this week I'm going to paint it and install it. And to get started and prepare for the paint, I came in this morning and gave the whole headboard a quick sanding about an hour and a half, basically smoothing out any imperfections and softening any sharp edges. Once that was done, I primed the whole headboard using Fresh Start by Benjamin Moore. It's a latex primer. And whenever you use a latex primer on wood, it's going to raise the grain and give the wood sort of a rough feel. And so what I like to do is prime the project that I'm working on, and that will sort of emphasize any imperfections in the project. So then I can really see them, and I'll come back later and fill any of the nail holes and uh, anything else, like maybe a miter that isn't quite tight. I'll let that dry, and then I'll sand the primer and sand the fill all at the same time. What I like to use for wood fill is joint compounds, just everyday spackle. And that's a little trick that my buddy Steve, who's a house painter, showed me. And I've been doing the same thing now for a couple of years. And what's nice about it is it sands really easy. So as you sand the primer, it's easy to sand the spackle or the wood fill. So the next step is to just go around and fill any of the little nail holes. I finished filling all the nail holes yesterday. I've come in this morning and the spackle's dry so I can sand the headboard, sanding the primer and the spackle at the same time. I'm using 150 grit silicone carbide paper and I'm gonna be sure to wear a dust mask. And now, occasionally I'll get emails from people asking me why do I wear a respirator as opposed to a classic dust mask? And the simple answer is the respirator is comfortable and I feel like it just works better. Now that I've finished sanding the headboard, sanding the primer and the spackle, the next step is to give the whole headboard another coat of primer. And a pretty useful trick when you're using multiple coats of latex paint is to wrap the brush in between coats and that'll keep the brush from drying out. And what I like to use is this, it's like a packing plastic. It works really good and it's a pretty good time saver. Well, I finished painting the second coat of primer on the headboard. I let it dry and then gave it another quick sanding. Now I'm upstairs in the art studio to apply the final two coats of paint. And I'm using a semi-gloss acrylic paint by Benjamin Moore and the colors White Dove. I try to work fast and use a lot of material when I'm painting. And another thing is always try to go or brush in the direction of the wood. So I know that this piece of wood goes in this direction, so I'll paint in that direction and then blend it in. Okay, well that's one coat of the finished paint. I'm gonna let the paint dry overnight. I'll come in tomorrow, give the whole headboard one last light sanding, and then paint it one more time with the finished coat, and then the headboard's ready to be delivered and installed. I applied the last coat of the finished paint, and now I'm ready to install the headboard to the bed frame. and. I'll bring the camera over and you can see how I've temporarily clamped the headboard to the frame so I can mark out where I need to drill my holes. I've laid down a moving blanket so I have a nice place to work and I can just fold up the blanket when I finish the job. And I'm using a scrap piece of wood so when I drill through the headboard leg, I don't accidentally drill into the floor. And you can see that I'm also using a square and that'll help make sure that my hole is nice and straight. Well, one thing I forgot to mention was the size of the drill bit that I used and it is 3 8 And I'm using a quarter inch bolt. So 3 8 gives me a little room to play with as I attach the headboard to the bed frame. The bolt that I'm using is a quarter inch by two and a half. I've got an inch washer on the outside of the headboard, an inch around the bed frame, a lock washer, and then a nut. Okay, well I 
finished up and I'm back in the shop. And that job went really smooth, and that's always a good thing. I hope you got something out of the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe. You can comment. Uh, and uh, check out johnpeters.com if you want to see all of my videos. They're all at johnpeters.com, and you can see some of my artwork there, too. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.